Yeah. Well, my teammates, they're, they're my best friends. It's, uh, we live together all year round. In the winter, we leave early November, come home by the end of March. So we spend Christmas, New Year all together. It's like a second family for us. But on top of that, we have training camps, four training camps in the summer that we spend a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the season in March, uh, we always take a vacation, go surfing somewhere. And again, it's with these guys that I go. So they're really some of my, of my best friends. And we push each other a lot in training. And when things go well, we can celebrate together. When things go bad, we can help each other, uh, take somebody out for dinner, go for coffee to change their mind, keep their minds away from skiing for a couple of hours if something's going bad. So we really push each other in training and really try to support each other when, it, when things are not as good as we, we planned. I think there'll be expectations and I think it's fair, it's normal. I put a lot of really high expectations on me, a lot of pressure every day in training. I'm rarely satisfied in, of what I can achieve. I always try to do more and more. And in the winter, it's the same. I always, every time I put a, a, a bib on, a race bib, a number, I believe in my chance of winning. And I know I'm not gonna win every day. I know nobody wins every day, not even the best in the world. But uh, I believe that in, in, in Pyeongchang, there's six events and four or five of those events are really good chances of medal. So it kind of, it puts the pressure in different baskets. It's not all or nothing for one day. So that, that gives me a lot of confidence too.